Teresa Momber's new stamp set, Celebrate the Season, is the perfect all-around set to celebrate many of the holidays throughout the year. Today on Stamp TV, I want to show you a very easy card project that's quick to mass produce and looks like a million bucks. And you'll love how Liquid Pearls adds so much dimension in such a little bit of time. Let me show you the tools and products you're going to need for this. You're going to need one of the stamps from Teresa's set, and I'm using this branch that has these little leaves on the ends. Then I'm going to use a Memento Bamboo Leaves ink pad and a Memento Rich Cocoa marker, and of course, some liquid pearls. And to stamp on, I'm using some of the Gina K Designs 80 pound white card stock. And there'll be a few other things that you'll see on the finished card project too, and I'll explain that to you a little bit later. To start, you're going to ink up the stamp using the Bamboo Leaves Memento ink pad. Then we want to add a little bit of depth and texture to that. So I'm going to grab that Memento Rich Cocoa marker and I'm going to pound that marker all over the surface of this stamp. This technique is called thumping. You've probably seen a Stamp TV video that features this technique in the past. But you will be surprised if you haven't seen it how beautiful and texturized the image looks when you do this little bit of tapping onto the stamp with a marker. And if you've never done this technique before, one little tip, you always want to make sure that you ink up your stamp with the lighter color first and then go on top with the darker color. Now I'm going to huff on the stamp and what that means is I'm going to breathe some warm moist air over the surface of the stamp to kind of reactivate any of the ink that dried. And now I'm going to stamp it. And you can see all of that beautiful texture in there. See all the, it's almost like a little bit marbly looking. Isn't that pretty? Now that we're zoomed in nice and close, I'm going to grab some of the red liquid pearls and I'm going to create berries on this branch. And liquid pearls is a great product to work with. You just squeeze a little bit out and lift straight up and there'll be a little point on the top and that little point will settle down and it'll turn into a tiny little pearl. One here. It's really fun to play with. And it does dry relatively quickly. I would let it sit for maybe a half hour. So if you were mass producing this card, you would do all of this part first and let it sit and in the meantime, you could cut out your other pieces and then you can create your card. Isn't that pretty? Doesn't that look just like berries? And can you see how round the pearls got? Let me see if I can turn it sideways. You might be able to see that a little bit better. See, there's no points left on those. They're just little round pearls. Let me show you my finished card project. Here, what I've done was I've taken two white flowers from our plain white flowers pack and I colored one red with a red Copic marker. And then I just layered them and stuck a little black brad in there and that kind of finished off the edge of that branch because you kind of need, as you can see in this one, you kind of need something to finish that off if you're not going to cut it right there. And I wanted to extend it a little bit. So then I used two of the greeting stamps from the Celebrate the Season stamp set. I used Celebrate and The Season and stamped them on different corners there and then the branch kind of separates them. The pattern paper that I used for this card project came from the new Echo Park 6x6 paper pad and the name of the paper pad is Season's Greetings. It's a really cute pad. It's got so many fun patterns in there. And you can see how quick and easy this is. It's not a lot of layers. All I did was layer my focal image and then did a little framing thing for my card base. And that card is done. And even though it has a flower on it and some brads and the pearls, it's still flat enough that it can mail in an envelope and you won't need any extra postage for that. Try using liquid pearls for other things like Christmas balls on Christmas trees, the centers of Christmas flowers, or the tip of Rudolph's nose.